Yo, what's the word? It's your boy 16. If you like the content on this channel, I want to ask you to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell for post notifications. Also, I got a website at www.16shotonvisuals.com. But that's enough of me talking. Let's get to what y'all came to see. So what would you say, like, was the most you spent on a purchase for yourself? Like, like nine, nine thousand on just one outfit. You feel me? I, I watch the new shit I've been dropping, so I've been just saying it in my songs. How I, that's the most money I spent on one outfit. I spent like nine thousand on the outfit. Yeah, plus the little Cardi out, you know. Cardi out. But yeah, that don't, that don't even count. I'm talking about clothing. Nine thousand. I had I had on Saks Fifth draws. <laughs> a lot of people don't even know they got draws. They got their own draws. <laughs> Pull them. I'm in that way. I size feel draws. What's like your uh, favorite clo clothing brand? Purple. I like purple jeans and shit, folks. Purple. I love purple. I just love how they they they, they jeans fit. A lot of um, like my girl be telling me I look, I be looking real good in my purple jeans. <laughs> <laughs> she see me wear a lot of other pants, but when she see me put on them purple jeans, <laughs> we'd be one of those that night. You ever thought of trying to get like any brand deal, shit like that? Hell yeah, but not necessarily. Like I did a little photo shoot for a little brand, but I've been really like trying to focus on my own shit, you know. Get my own little face mask brand going. Cause that's where the money at. Like, you gotta have your own shit going. So what got you on the music? My homie Psycho. I wasn't rapping or none of that shit. I was like trying to hoop and shit like that. Like, I, mean, I like to play basketball and shit. I was really like a chill ass nigga until I started taking them losses, you know? But motherfuckers who, like my homies know was chill. So why the fuck is they dying? You know, like we all chill. Tell them, tell them the cool. Like, how the fuck wrong with that? When you find out who did it, you start getting revenge and life goes from there, you know? So, what was your relationship with Psycho? I noticed you, uh, you know, you speak on him a lot. Oh, shit. That's my, that was my best friend. Like, like, he was my best friend. Like, my real best, like, he one of my best friends just to the point where it was like, we could do. We, he was living with me. I got to his mama told us we finna. I'm stealing him from her. Like I got I went to her crib and told her like we sneak. Out. She don't never used to let him outside. How he older than me and you won't let him let him outside. Like, like that's the type of shit that was blowing me with him and his OG situation. But his OG loved him and she ain't want she ain't want him outside and shit. You know. But at the same time, it's like we finna go to my house. Like what the fuck you mean? You can't let him go outside. You feel me? So, but she let him. We are just. I just. I'll just get into his family and we'll leave. And, bro, like, and they know that I love that boy to death because of the shit I did for him. Like, bro, I wanted my homie to be happy, bro. Like, we was chilling. Do you remember, like, when y'all first met? Through my homie Huncho Hunt. Let me see a lot of folks. But through my homie Huncho Hunt, he, um, like I said, when I came um, on Fitting Out the Met, I met my homie Huncho Hunt. And um, he, um, he moved away to Motown, then I moved to Motown too on some coincidental shit, go to school one day, see him, and when we get back to the crib, walking home from school, he tell him, wanna be my other homie now? And he made me, showed me psycho now, feel me? So I just, I locked in with them and shit, type shit. It was just us three every day. Then, so how was when y'all first met? Y'all locked in right away, type shit? Yeah, yeah, we we was like, I met, I met psycho when I was like fifth grade. Psycho was in like sixth grade. I met Huncho when I was like third, fourth grade, but I met Psycho when I was in like fifth, finna be in sixth grade and shit. So was like his death like one of the first biggest deaths to you? From a motherfucker who I've been with every day, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He was the first death like a person who I was sitting next to every day. Then when he died, one of my cousins who I was around every time died right after his death type of shit. Then I started family members started down, like the older family members in the family. I started really like seeing death for, for, for a real, like, for real, for real. I'm seeing it. Like, I'm like, oh yeah, motherfuckers could die. You feel me? Now, now people gotta die. <laughs> so that's how it went. Like, all right, you feel me? So that's just what, how it went. You feel me? Like, I, it was just a lot of death start to happen back to back after Psycho died. You feel me? We, I was just 
So I started like going crazy. He was rapping and shit, so I started going crazy. I started taking off with his legacy. I, so we took his name, made PGF, Psycho World Forever. Well, I mean, Psycho Gang Forever. But it's just the same shit, but still. Like, we just ran with his name and kept rapping and shit, you feel me? And now we, we down there rich off the shit. Y'all got any songs out? No, we ain't never get to make a song or shit. It was just all ideas. Like, bro, like, we had plans. Like, I just recorded him, like, on the phone rapping and shit for his first time, you feel me? <clears throat> Damn, boom. He was at my crib that night type shit. He was at my crib. And I had to go to my granny crib. My granny be on some, nah, you can't have your homie spend a night with you over here. But my grandma, I always used to, that was my money person. Like, that was who I was getting my money from. I go over there, I clean up the house, she give me a hundred, two hundred, you feel me? That's the way I was making my little dollars when I was a shorty. So I always go over there and bring one of my homies, because she had paid them too. So I go over there and shit and left him at my crib, and he went to my homie Hunter and Hunter crib, because they all be at my house, it was always us three. So I, had, I woke up that morning, I had to leave him there with him. And he, they said, all right, Hunter, like, he gonna go to my crib with me. I wake up the next day, I come, they get the same full shot, I come back to the crib, and I run to the crime scene. I drive from my, we, my, had my grandma and them drop me off, and I ran from my mama house to the oak, cause that's where he was staying at. Oh, bro, after that shit, we were just all in a dark room. That shit was one of our hardest times. Like, we were so young, but we ain't know about no dad. We were dad. We was all sitting in the room on the floor. Cause they how they just got that crib in the oak. You feel me? He was just finna move from over there, type shit. And we go right in that bitch. I see all my homies them sad as hell. His mama in that bitch sad. I'm like, damn. We closed that door. We just got the plot and what we about to do. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but I ain't even cry when, when folks that I ain't cry. I cried when when I was by myself. But when we was all together, I was just like mad, more mad than anything. Cause I could have took him home. I could have took him to my granny crib. Me, it would have been good. But then I thought like, damn, my other homie could have died. Feel me? But I, that should just be. I don't know. Was anybody you looked up to growing up? Uh, hell no, nah, like. It wasn't really nobody, for real, like who I looked up to growing up. Cause I ain't had no father figure or no shit like that. My daddy was always in jail. He just like a free man now, and I'm grown. <laughs> so he, 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 like I ain't really look up to nobody until I started like taking my, my career serious and the people who, who was coming around me started helping me. And that's who I started finding people who I wanted to be like. Like, damn, I want to be like folks. I want to live good. I want to do that and do that. Because these people, like, around me and they helping me and shit. 